Well, hello. I'm back after quite a while. There have been a few reasons why I haven't been on. Uh, apart from it's been really hot. Then I wasn't feeling too great. Ta-da! Uh, and yeah, one excuse after another. I lost my mojo when I uh, stopped. Plus, it didn't help that the inside of the van is looking like this. I had a few projects on the go. So I had to clean out the back of this vehicle. Clean this back out because I was using it for various people. And hence, I wasn't gonna keep shifting it backwards and forwards. So I had a few weeks off the build. So presently, um, I'm closer to knowing what I want to do with the insulation. So what I'm gonna start doing today this detritus into the back of my other van and start giving it a bit of a just getting it back into order because as you can see oh, I've got stuff everywhere anyone for a game of scrabble Ooh, connect four mm -hmm. uh, yeah so I need to clean this all up the idea is to I'm gonna start rebuilding the the dash get all the panels back on the dash and uh, and clean it up so I've got some space to work uh, then once I've done all that then start on doing the insulation uh, get that done and um, start building the side panels and getting the bed in so that's the plan let's see how the day goes Well, it's a start. What I'm trying to do is at the back, just make it as I did before, like a little bit of a workbench. But the issue is, as you can see, I have quite a few, quite a bit of boxes. That's all the panelling headliner, so I need to shift all of that, or at least give myself space so I can work. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, start working on uh, putting the panels back onto the dash. Take 346. Um, rain, 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 rain. So starting, stop, start, stop. So I'll put the first trim up on the A pillar. And um, I've noticed some of the dash is really manky. So what I'm going to do is take it in the house and give it a clean. Huh, would have been an idea if I did this ages ago, but before putting it back in, but there you go, it is what it is. So let's just try it with something fairly neutral to start off with. Good old fairy liquid. There's no idea how this is going to go. Seems to be good. The dashes are a little bit sticky. You can see where there's coffee marks on it. So that doesn't come really play ball at all. So it looks like a paint or something to that effect. And this all feels really skanky. As long as it just gets worse off, worse of it off. I'm overly too fussed. It is perfect. And I can still see the coffee stains. Joy. That was just like a ring just there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try something a little bit more. System. I don't want to go mad with this because I think it actually ends up marking marking the dash if I do it too hard. Right, 
to do is, bear with me one second. I am going to pull out some wood. It looks like paint. using some type of abrasive cleaner and it turns this white when it scowls over the top so I'm just trying to avoid that. It does seem to be coming up. I think I just need to give it a bit of TLC and just let this white spirit soak in a bit. Good, good. Right, before I forget, I'm just going to scrub that bit up here. There's a mark there. And again, it's not particularly a big mark. But, I might as well do this while I've got the damn thing off. See, it does look better. Okay, here's the result after soaking it a few times. It's better. This still got a bit of a shimmer to it, but overall the the main you can see still a bit of a lip, just like a crescent move in that corner there. But um, satisfied with that, it's made a big difference. So at least now it's not going to catch my eye when I look at the dash. Right, on to the next task. Well, the weather's been a bit rubbish, so I've been using the garage. So there's the insulation I've been using uh, for paying out the uh, gaps in the van. And this is what I'm using a thermal barrier. It's actually quite thick, so it's actually doubled. So it's just folded over. So what I've been doing is pulling that out, uh, cutting uh, a strip that's 15 inches wide, then taking it to the van. Here we go. <clears throat> right. So that top section's done all the way across the top using the plastic and the aluminium tape. And I've done all the right hand side as well. So all done. This this is double sided tape underneath to keep it to stick. Obviously remembering this is all going to be ply lined so it will be nice flush so my ply is actually going to come up come up like that at an angle oh, that's the intent and put uh, lead uh, so I can put the LED lighting so all of this will be compressed back nicely so it should create a good barrier I know there's various debates about whether or not um, this stuff is, is, is actually worth doing a vapor barrier um, because the challenge is going to be it's going to capture all the moisture inside so 
um, endeavouring to try and leave space gaps um, so it can breathe. I'm more concerned about the bottom section down here because I want to wax, re wax oil that because that's where Mercedes vans are notorious for rotting out. I'm not too overly worried about the top part, it's just uh, trying to do a good job, that's all. This aluminium tape went on quite nicely, so it's created a good seal, so that's okay. And again, I'm not too sure, this is automotive double-sided tape, this is the type of stuff they use on sticking uh, registration plates. And what I did, and that's the aluminium tape I've been using, what I did is I've got three different whips, I've got that one, Oh, pen stuck. That one, and I've got a third one somewhere. It's obviously uh, it's over there on, on top of the chest. Taking a vacation. The other thing as well is obviously using the white spirits to clean down the panels and to clean and um, wipe down the plastic as well before sticking them. Because uh, otherwise you're just setting yourself up for a fall later. It's just going to peel off. Uh, that light is disconnected, but it's uh, I've kept it in the panel should at some point I want to reuse it so the, so the cables all disconnected and all nicely wrapped up and I've got those two one there and one there as well I don't want to use the internal lights at all uh, from the van so what I'm probably going to do um, I'm sure there's some gurus out there who will probably know better than I do is hopefully there's a, um, a fuse I can pull and also this section here looks a bit grubby um, but the intent is once I put the, the panelling and all that I may have to adjust that so if I have to change it I'll, I'll change it it's not a big deal and it, again it's remembrance the first time I've done this so uh, it's a bit of a learning curve and I know there's lots of people who say don't use the mineral wool don't do this don't you do that but you know what I just wanted to get on with it uh, finally uh, considering how long it's taken uh, I've had a, taken a break I took a bit of a break I've got some other videos in my bag uh, which I will be releasing but they're not really relevant to the van but they're interesting anyway so I'll just put them up on the channel uh, one's a visit to Bewley Car Museum which is quite nice and one was another uh, uh, National Trust uh, house so I'll endeavour to put those up at some point if I get round to it uh, just to show you what I've been up to. Right, okay, I'm gonna try and keep this short. Not the most interesting of videos, so I apologize. Um, hopefully this week I'll get a little bit more done. I wanna get this uh, panel done. But I am pleased that now the dash is all back in. Uh, just need to debate where to start next. What other sections are gonna start doing next? So, right, have a fantastic weekend. Uh, I'll get this video edited and I'll get it up so hopefully uh, some of you guys can see what I've been up to. Okay, have a good one.